All right, guys, so I have the Laser Edge self sharpening blades with me right now. I'm going to pop them on the Pro Stance. Um, now, these have a really particular thing to them. Um, you can see how shiny it is. You can feel there's a real, real thick coating on this. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's up with it, but I do know that they freaking work. Um, I've had them on the Skag um, for about four weeks now. So I've had them on the Skag for about four weeks now. Um, it's definitely time to replace them um, because they're starting to get like really chewed up and it's from hitting little sticks and things like that on the properties. You know, these, these condos don't stay as clean as like a home does, you know, when you're doing residential properties. Um, I've just noticed, you know, there's, especially when you do these properties and they have tons of trees everywhere, you'll end up getting tiny little sticks and all that in the grass and um, you end up hitting it, you know, it ends up getting, you know, mulched up and more torn to pieces. You don't notice it. I'm just talking about little sticks and stuff where you don't even really see them, but you just hear them. Um, I do notice that um, those have taken a beating with that, but they stayed sharp enough for four weeks and about, man, it's about 45 hours worth of mowing. Um, and it's just now time to take them off. So, and that's been beating the mess out of those things, man. I'm telling you, like, on these property sticks and mulching up stuff and all that, it's just, it's really crazy how long these things stay sharp. It blows my mind, man. So, um, and honestly, I don't even know how much the replacements are or anything yet. Um, but, I can tell you that this is what we're going to end up sticking to. So we're going to end up keeping these because they don't have to be sharpened, um, you know, every couple of days. It's ridiculous um, how awesome it is. I'm, I'm just so impressed. It actually works. Um, you guys have seen, you know, this with Johnny Blades of Grass. Um, but yeah, it's got this real, it's got this real particular or this real unique like uh, rough edge on the bottom. Um, and like I said, it's just got this real thick coating on it. It's real shiny. looks like a brand new car kind of thing. Um, and I'm not really sure about the technology behind it whatsoever. I should probably do some homework, but I just haven't had a chance to do that. Um, but what we are going to do is go ahead and throw them on the, the pro stance. Um, we haven't used this much. Um, we've used it, we've used it enough to where it's time to take the blades off and sharpen them. Um, but we're going to have to. I'm going to go ahead and pop these on there and uh, put these on and see what's up. Oh, this is different. So these are the blades that came from the factory or the ones that they put on with the mulch kit, um, but they were just so thin. Um, yeah, I don't. Anyways, I'm not going to be upset to get rid of these. Alright guys, so I got those on. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll probably pop them off after, um, you know, some good use. Um, like I said, I'm going to pull them off the Skag. They're pretty destroyed now on the Skag at this point. We've just used them so much. I really wanted to beat them and kind of use them beyond the point where we should um, be using them to see how they cut. but. The grass, um, you know, the blades are barely, I noticed they're barely, barely torn. Um, so now it's time to, you know, go ahead and change those out. So I will let you guys know how those, um, how those are doing. I'll probably take them off um, sometime this week or probably sometime this week. Um, and I'll show them to you. So if I have time in the morning, I'll probably just do it tomorrow morning before we, uh, you know, before the guys go out for the day. Uh, but they've been really good, man. They're, um, they're, just impressive. I don't know how in the world they do it, but I noticed that as the days went on, they got sharper and sharper and sharper somehow. Um, but four weeks later, um, actually this is going into our fifth week, um, almost 50 hours uh, worth of mowing and we just now need to replace them. So pretty incredible. I'll take them off. I'll probably try and do it tomorrow. I'll take them off, um, show them to you guys. Sorry, this is so short, but, um, I just wanted to, uh, kind of you know update you guys on this whole thing I, I just think it's like crazy man it's 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 crazy so the gravely pro strance has been just phenomenal um, I'm definitely liking so here's my thing 
the sit down on the Skag versus the stand up on the Pro Stance. Your back, 100%, is the biggest benefit that I'm seeing so far. Your, well, two benefits. The two biggest benefits are your back, because I mowed with the Skag yesterday, and it, like, just killed my back, man. So, and, I, and I've got the Mac Daddy seat on there and everything, and it's super comfortable until you get on something that's like a stander with a nice, you know, with a nice pad on it. Um, and then you notice... You go back to the Skag and then it actually hurts your back when you're on it, it's really whatever. Um, but I, I love it. Um, the other thing is I definitely like how much lighter it is on the turf than something like a sit down like the Skag. The Skag's too heavy. Um, when just anybody's using it, they destroy turf. Um, and I noticed just when anybody's using this, hardly anything gets destroyed on the turf. So the guys are trying to be really careful, but it's so wet down here, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but this wins when it comes to turf and damaging the turf. This wins by a massive margin. It wins with the back by a massive margin. The only thing so far that, um, that I don't like is if you hit something, um, like a big root or something like that, it's easy for your hands to kind of come off and, and get that feeling of like losing control for a quick minute as opposed to on a sit down. That's just stuff, you know, that you just have to keep in mind and be aware. But cut quality everything's fine everything's great so overall everything has its it's good it's bads um it's goods and bad good and bad whatever blah, blah, blah. um so far this is winning though overall over the skag cheetah the skag cheetah though the speed is untouchable i wish this was faster uh they already know that i wish this was way faster when we're transporting around the property that's something that i don't like that it's just not fast at all for my taste when I'm transporting around these huge properties. The Skag kicks everybody's butt when it comes to that, almost, pretty much. But otherwise, so far, if you do a 10-point scale system, this is winning so far. So it's it's just been great. Enough gas to mow the biggest properties we have. You know, it's it's just awesome, man. The, the deck doesn't bounce around too much. The pad is very, very comfortable. The deck leveling system, I got used to it. That's really good. Um, so that's definitely kicking butt, man. I'll update you guys on these laser edge uh, blades and uh, we're gonna get back to work. Peace out.